So I've got one flavor out already. Well, it smells good. Wow, stuff smells really good. I'm going in order of uh, the flavor that I put on. Um, sorry, the, the labels. I've got these labeled and in order so I can keep track of what's what, what flavor is what. Ooh, don't fall off. And um, that way when I package them I'll know what I have. Went out from them to friends as well. People know what they're getting because I'm pretty sure that most of this is going to be eaten up by friends. It's one way to to use up a deer quick though. Make jerky. Everybody eats jerky. Well, not everybody, but I mean, a lot of people will. But my goal is to put some of this away for long-term storage in freezer bags, uh, vacuum sealed bags. So I'm going to dry it to a crisp. I'll have some jerky type jerky, the moisture stuff for immediate eating, but the majority of it is going to be dried to an absolute crisp and then put in vacuum sealer bags for the long-term storage. And then uh, I can pull them out for stews and soups as needed in the future, or to just munch on on the trail. So it looks like I'm going to have two batches of each, well basically a batch and a half of each uh, flavor when I'm done here. So you want to put these in a single layer with none of them touching one another. That way they'll they'll dry out better. So I'm going to finish laying these all out and let them drip dry for a while. Oh, the smell is amazing. Really smells good. That's Cajun right there. Those two. And this was the uh, I think the garlic and pepper, my own uh mixture of just garlic and pepper spices. Well, they're all my own mix, but I mean, that was Cajun right out of the bottle, and this was my own mixture that I made up. There's the baby. Baby cat. Baby cat. Hey. She's wondering what I'm doing out here. I've got all five flavors dripping. Uh, I want to get most of the moisture off of them before I put them in the smoker as I said and then over here I've got my oh it smells good I got my barbecue grill going and I'm gonna use the grill I'm, I'm cooking it off right now to clean it but I'm gonna use the grill on really low setting to smoke some of the meat I've done this before and it turns out very well actually I use the grill to finish the smoking process once the um, smoker is done, the grill will be used to just basically dry it to finish the drying process so it's dried to a crisp. So I'm going to put some in here and just cook it on really low for a couple hours until it's just crispy dry and done. The grill is going on as low as I can set it. i got to really keep an eye on this meat because I don't want to cook it. I want to slow um, dry it basically. So I've got the grill set as low as it'll go, and then uh, the advantage is the I had to wait for the right weather for this project today. Um, it's colder out, and recently we've had 40 and 50 degree nights, and I couldn't put the um, the meat out to marinate overnight without spoiling. So we had some colder nights, and I was able to marinate the meat finally, and that's why it took me so long to get to this because we have an unusually warm winter. So I'm not complaining. I love this warm weather. I've been really using it heavily to my advantage, but um, it wasn't good for processing deer meat. So now I can slow cook this and uh, that'll be jerking a few hours. And then once the other's done dripping, then that'll uh, go into the smoker as well. So I'm going to get the smoker fired up over there. I'll take you over there in a minute. 
I got my big Brinkman fired up for the first time ever. I bought this last fall at Tractor Supply just about a year ago. Maybe just over a year ago. It was about a year ago this time. Uh, got this on super, super deep discount because it was bashed up a bit and it was a floor model. And I never had a chance to use it because last year I didn't get my deer. So now I've got it fired up. The thermometer is rising. Of course, I'm still... Oh, focus, focus there, focus. The, um... I'm still burning up the uh, lighter fluid off, so I'm just preheating. And, uh... Gonna... Just let that burn a bit. The, I just fired it up, so the temperature isn't going up uh, too fast yet. And it's a little cold out, so it's gonna take me some, some real work trying to get this to, uh... To, trying to get the temperature up. I want to have 150 degrees, 150 to 180 degrees um, during the smoking process so I uh, can pasteurize. You want to pasteurize the meat as well. So if I don't get it during the smoking process then what I'll do is take it over to the grill and finish it off on the barbecue grill. Now this is also a, a, uh, a grill. It's a grill and smoker. So it's got a couple grates in the um, in this side, in the burn side, so you can actually cook on the on the top of the burn side, as well as smoking with the uh, the big part. So anyway, I'm gonna let that burn a while until the charcoal has burned off. Ooh, <laughs> a label! I didn't even realize that was there. The magnetic uh, label from Tractor Supply was still on there. Fortunately, it's uh, didn't burn yet. That's funny. That was still in a lid. I wondered what that plastic thing was. So, yeah. Let that burn a bit. Burn down a little bit. And then I'll uh, be smoking some meats. Now you can see there's a leak here in the side. And that is the problem. That's why I got it so cheap. I'm going to have to do some manipulating on this one day. I think for now I'll be able to manage. But it's going to lose a lot of heat is the problem. It's, it's not going to be as efficient as it's supposed to. And... This particular Brinkman style smoker did have issues with efficiency uh, out of the box. I, heard, I read a lot of bad reviews about them, but uh, for the price I wasn't going to comp complain. See it's been smashed up, so one day I need to really try to hammer it back in place um, and try to maybe seal up that door, get some gaskets, uh, and try to get that somehow bent into shape properly or seal it with something. But for now, I think it'll do the job for me. I think it'll do what I have to do. Hopefully. But we'll see. I'm trying it out for the first time ever. Yeah, you can see it leaking bad out that door. So that's going to be an issue. But I think it'll do it for me because I got the barbecue grill to follow up with. It smells good out here. I've actually managed to get all of the meat on. Um, the top started to cook actually and I didn't want to cook so I put it up high and as it shrinks now it's starting to shrink already and I put on the other you can see the different colors of the two different varieties of jerky here so I'm gonna let that continue on I might end up shutting off one burner later and using this like a small uh, slow oven type of a, an effect actually I think I'm gonna prop that open a bit to reduce the heat inside. I'm going to prop it with a little bit of uh, 2 by 4 So, boy it smells good. I want to eat it now. Eh, I found a brick. Did the job just as well. So the meat on the edge won't cook or cure I should say or whatever as fast. But, oh look at that. Now I can keep an eye on it anyway. Might lower that lid a little bit further but uh, we'll see how it goes. I do want to slow cure it so We'll see how it goes. I can adjust it with the lid that way. The smoker is smoking. I just put the meats in, so it won't hurt to open up and show you, because I just put them in. Now there's a charcoal smoker, huh? Professional smoker. And it's smoking hard. So, I really don't like it smoking that much. I'm not really pleased with that. Well, I just put some more charcoal on here and enclosed it up. Maybe I should uh, allow more airflow. But 
the charcoal on top is smoking like mad that I just put in there. Well, I guess we'll see what happens, huh? So the Indians did it. Smokehouse. I don't really want that much smoke, but... And I got the top wide open. I guess I could close that since it's seeping out everywhere else anyway. It's definitely coming out. That'll help maintain the temperature. The side door I have a log propped up against because it wasn't sealing. So, yeah, see what happens. It's definitely smoking heavy though right now. I hope it doesn't overflavor the uh, the meat with a smoky, harsh flavor. I don't like it really, really heavily smoked flavor. So, anyway, I'll keep an eye on that. It's down to 80 degrees right now and rising, so we'll see how it goes. It was up to 200, um, and I closed the side door and put some more charcoal on. So that definitely caused it to smoke some more by closing the, uh, the breather door. Slows down the, the burn, but really smokes it heavily. Well, if nothing else, it'll cure the meat, that's for sure. Let's go check out the, the barbecue grill that I got going on. Okay, this is getting pretty dark. This is cooking fast, but it's actually cooking, which is not so desirable. So I'm going to turn off this one side and um, try to control this because I don't want to cook the meat so much as, as uh, slow dry it. But um, the thing about this grill is it smokes the meat in a way you know, by its nature because anything that falls on that piece of metal down below ends up burning and smoking and uh, it does give a nice flavor to the meats in this the, when you cook on here so a couple pieces got burnt uh, the pieces that were right over this edge so I pulled them away and put them off into the sides and I tried one and it was really 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 good so um, just let that slow cook for a while now the, the barbecue smoked meats is not a precise science and what I'm aiming for is super dry crispiness. So then it gets vacuum sealed and long term storage. And I have done it before and had soups and stews made out of it so I know it works. It is a success. Hello everybody, it's getting dark out. Now it's just a matter of maintaining the charcoal level and uh, keep an eye on the meat. It should take quite a few hours. It'll be uh, long after dark before this is done. I've got about 120 uh, degrees, 115, 120 degrees, which is acceptable for now. I want to slow dry it, smoke it and slow dry the meat. So it's not smoking as bad. I'm going to close the top and come back in a while. Now it's just a matter of time. So, have a peek here. I'm guessing that that is burnt down a little. Is it hot? No. Oh wow, nice. I don't know if you saw the glowing, yeah you do. So, I just have to maintain that. And uh, that's it. Now, tonight, if the meat isn't done, I'll have to see how it goes, because uh, the last thing I want to do is have to restart it in the morning with uh, with lighter fluid. It means that I have to take out all the racks, and restart it, and um, let it burn off the uh, the stink from the lighter fluid. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow too, so hopefully I'll be done tonight. I'm just going to keep on going until it's finished. <laughs> 